Hello, hello, welcome to Agile Tech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to learn programming step by step from scratch. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create loops within JavaScript. Loops are a set of code or a block of code that run when the condition is true. So, in this case, we want to focus on while and then the for loop within JavaScript. So, without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So the loop I'm going to create will be the while loop. But before that, I'll create a variable and call that variable number. I'll set that number to zero. So I'm going to check this condition. If that condition is true, it will continue to run my code. I'm going to use the while, the while statement. While the number which I created is less than 10, then it should go ahead and print this block of code document dot write document dot write so i want to say my favorite number or maybe the number is so i can just type anything so i'm going to put that into a quote so my number is and then i want to append this by using the plus keyword concatenate i'll use the number so i will just call this variable which i've created holding my number if i run this code it's going to be an infinite loop because the number is always going to be less than 10 so the best thing for me to do is to increment this number anytime the code runs so i'll say plus equal to sorry it will be plus equal to one what this means is that anytime the, this code runs, to come and add one to the first number so it will come and check the first will be printed and then it will be checked when it's 10 10 is not less than 10 then my code will stop running if I, this has been saved already i set my browser to auto save my text editor to auto save so everything will be saved for me so everything what i've typed have been printed so my favorite number is zero my favorite number is one but we can easily break this into a separate line so that everything be neat for us we could be readable for us so if i come here i can easily put a break statement before this so if i go back and reload my page we should see something better so notice this time around we we have everything printed on a different line so it's, this one is easy for us to read it's readable okay so we printed up to 9 so when the condition meets here this 9 less than 10 yes it will be printed but when it goes back and then it add one more one has been added to the 9 and it's 10 10 is not less than 10 our code will stop running so basically this is how to create a loop you can use the for loop to achieve the same purpose but before that i want to put a horizontal line below this then i will use the for loop if I come here, let me just print out a horizontal rule. Okay. It's just a simple rule. Because I'm in JavaScript, I want to print that line using a JavaScript. I'm just going to run this and I have a line below this. Okay. So I'm going to first, I'm going to run the same code again, but this time around, I'm going to use a for loop to achieve that. So I'll go back to my text editor. And then down here, I'll use the for loop. So for, and then I'll create let. I'll say let i. So i is the variable that I'm creating. I'm going to set it to start from zero, separate it with a semicolon, and this i, the condition should be i should be less than what 10. That's my condition, and I'll increase i. Yes, as I did using the loop. Okay. So I'm not going to say if this condition is true, then document document dot write and the same procedure. Let's say let's add a break this time around, and then say my number my number sorry my number. My number is and then we are going to append the i to this as simple as that so the i is representing my number 
If I run this code, you notice this look more simpler than using the for loop. If I run this code, we should get the same result. Notice that we are getting the same result. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and get updates anytime we upload a new video. So basically, this is how we can create loops within JavaScript. Anytime a condition is true, remember the condition first needs to be true for this block of line or block of code to run. So if the condition is not true, nothing will be printed out. We're looking at if statement and then we can use if statement to make decisions. So remember you need to subscribe. Anytime we get we upload video, you get updates on that. Thank you so much for watching this video.